guys and now I will be covering the topic of how you can remove this nasty trojan or malware threat that's been plaguing your computer recently. This video will be including automatic removal and then it's gonna take you from through the manual removal steps plus some backup tips. Now, first of all before beginning this video I want to say that it's very important that you look only for legitimate sites or video YouTube channels that are uh, real people and uh, because there are a lot of sites that are dubious and are only after your money So you need to be careful and always check the people behind it So let's begin with the removal process shall we for the automatic removal? We're gonna be using the help of an advanced anti-malware software Which we're gonna be downloading by going at the removal video and clicking at the link in the description after you click the link, it's gonna take you to the removal article of this specific thread. In it, click the download button and it's gonna take you to the download page where the download should start automatically. When it's done, simply open the installer. It's gonna take you to a language and installation steps process. Simply follow those steps, uh, agree with the license terms and then click accept and install. Uh, installation should take about a couple of minutes time and after that uh, when her setup is done and you click finish uh, the scan should start automatically now this software doesn't just scan for the virus files it's gonna detect any objects that may be potentially unwanted any hardware any cookies that may be tracking your information and so on and so on and the uh, scan should take a bit of time and when it's done you simply have to uh, select all the objects that are viruses and click on the next or fix now button and the software will take care of them easy as that guys so for the manual removal you need to have some experience in removing threads now before beginning the removal I highly suggest that you back up your files whatever they are especially the important files simply you can copy them on a flash drive you can uh, uh, upload them to the cloud doesn't matter really it doesn't matter uh, it's good to have a backup because you never know what's around the corner guys any any moment your computer can break down and Anything can happen After you've backed up the files it's time to enable the visibility of the hidden files which the virus may be consuming from your uh, from you uh, To do that you're gonna open the search and you're gonna type show hidden files and folders and then you're gonna have to click on it It's gonna open the settings and then you're gonna tick on the show hidden files folders and drives option then click on apply and then click on ok to accept the setting and that's it now you all do that all that's need to be done uh, is to find the files to do that simply open your computer and on the search bar on top right uh, type file extension and then the extension of the file in this case we have set up an example file which which is exe file called example virus file uh, imagine that this example virus file is the virus name you're gonna type the name after that and then you're gonna hit enter and as you can see it's loading up there and it's gonna find the file whatever it is on your computer windows is gonna do that for you and then you have to select the file and simply remove it that's it now another way to set up that and to find the virus file if you don't know is to always check our article in the description it's gonna make sure to have info of the file but even if the article in the description doesn't have the info in the file you can find it via the following method press windows button and R and type reg edit now we're gonna have to remove any registries that viruses usually create on your computer from the registry editor but first let's back it up by clicking on file and export then save it somewhere where you can easily find it by clicking on all and export range and naming it something that's easy to remember and then click save after you've done that uh, this will make sure that this is your last known boot configuration and you can always go back to it if something messes up by clicking on file and import so to find any virus registries you gonna have to type control and s combinations on your keyboard and then you're gonna look for specifically keys only make sure they are ticked and then you can look for the run or run once keys if a virus is set up a key it's most likely there now in those keys uh, the virus should usually have a value if you right click on the value you can easily delete the key and this will stop the virus from automatically running 
because it can help you find the virus file location. So, thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like if you found it useful.